Thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace if you can find it. On the prior video, I left off saying that I didn't know why the sensibly conservative politicians um, don't act conservative. And it's because they're changing definitions of words. They're not the same because word woke doesn't mean like you're waking up from something. Do it. It has nothing to do with the organization and the agenda or whatever the word you use to tell of their activities, the, uh, June and Pride Month and everything. What do the word woke have to do with that? Huh? I, I, I see that. I don't get it. They just think that we are so naive and get mad at you when you don't believe a bull crap lie. Remember Jesse Smollett, that lie? And those who believed and those who did not. You you knew. I mean, some people just have, I guess, maybe it's a gift. I mean, is it a gift to just know? Don't you know if you have children when they lie to you? How huh? can't you tell as a parent? And these are children, fables that they are telling and shoving at us. And I'm like, as an adult, as a baby boomer, I should have the smarts to know when I hear a bold-faced lie. That's what my parents would call it. Huh? I just don't get it. I don't know why I keep saying I just don't get it because... I just don't understand why people are not seeing things that's just all right in your face. Are they under a spell? Huh? What has got them binded and bound and hindered? Is, what is it? Is it when you stop eating certain foods? Because if you're trying to, I'm trying to eat healthy now. Do that have something to do with it? I try to avoid all the nonsense that I know that I can zip up and down the aisles now that's in our food because I know I don't need it and I don't want it. But it's too late that I found out about it now. But w what is making some of us just can sniff and smell and see a bold-faced childish lie? And others, I mean adults. I mean, it's incredible. The black men on FB arguing and getting mad with your ass when you come against Trump or Biden. Either one. Because you got us loving both sides. And it's a war between us about something that has nothing to do with us. I keep saying in my heart, man, I don't want to inflict my thoughts on anybody else, but us just hanging around and so involved in it. I, I was listening to Tim Scott talk. I mean, oh, it's like they under a spell. But the, it's like them giving us a handkerchief to hold or some paper to fax. That's just letting us think. We matter and, and, ha and have something to do with their program. This is a highfalutin class game between them. They like games. You know, gladiator sports and stuff like that. Football, baseball, hockey, violence, tug of war. They like court scenes because they never stop ending. They like, you know, the... the W-A-R, they love that. They like it. So this is something between them. And they do this. And they were doing this when we were on the cotton fields. And some just still keep saying we were not dragged over here. I just don't understand. And then they put in all those historians that say we did a lie. That's another division. You see what I mean? Ooh, they ain't got to worry about us because they, they did a thorough job on scrambling us. We are so tribal. 
I don't know how anything, how we could ever become together. Because they did a thorough job. They did it. Oh, my God. They must be masters. Their God is working for them, whoever their God is. And God they trust, the money, I don't know who it is. But everything is on their side, but I'm not. I'm hearing different now. But, hey, it has been. At least they had a God. They said we had one in Africa, but I, I'm talking about here in America. And before I end, that's I'm going to start not to worrying about Africa because I can't understand them. Because Ivory Coast now is entertaining the colonizer. 64 years later, after all with those three uh, uh, young guys done, you still got them selling out. So I'm done talking about Africa. I am done done. I did. I'd stop recommending them to me on my feed. I'm just done. And I'm, I can't do anything about that other place over there in Northeast Africa before they split this with the Suez Canal. I can't do nothing about it because with all this protesting in the street, nothing has been done. And they telling you in your face they can do what they want to do. So who's next? I don't know. I'm going to end with that. But nothing can be done. But thanks for tuning in and listening. It's, it's, it's sad. I don't know where we are and what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I'm not paranoid. It's just that I'm on this geopolitics. <laughs> Shit. I'm on it. They on it too. They know. And they grinning in your face and lying to us on on all this whenever they open their mouth. Let's say that. Ay, 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 ay. Thanks for tuning in.